All right, yesterday in class, we learned about the f of x notation, which really just means y. But when you put a number in here, it means what is y if we substitute this x into our equation. Now, yesterday we did it just with given a domain or a range and a single point. Today, we're going to do a whole bunch of x's for our domain, and then we're going to graph it so we can see what it actually looks like all together. So you're going to be given a sheet of paper at this point in time with a t-chart that's already going to be filled out for you. It's going to be given your equation, your f of x function. It'll have a column for your x's which will already be filled out, so you'll have your domain. You'll have an area to do your work, and you must show your work. You'll also be giving a place to put your ordered pairs. All right, so let me show you how this is going to happen so you can do it on your own. So I'm going to take my equation, and I'm going to rewrite it. But instead of the x, I'm going to put a parenthesis because I know that I'm going to substitute in what's over here. I'm going to do that my entire column because I know I'm going to have to keep doing it every time. So 2 times whatever x is minus 3. All right, now all I have to do is take what I've been given, my x, and substitute it in here where the x was. Now we're going to use our order of operations, and we're going to figure out what our y would be with that x. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Minus 3 would give me negative 1. So my first ordered pair, my x is negative 1. And my y is, well, negative 1. And we're going to do that for the entire set. So negative 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 3 would give me negative 3. So 0, negative 3. Negative 2 times positive 1, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, so 1, negative 5. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4, minus 3 is going to give me negative 7, so 2, negative 7. And finally, negative 6 minus 3 is going to give me negative 9, so 3, negative 9. At this point, you're going to stop. You're going to take your t-chart, both you and your partner have to have all of the work done on your own paper. You're going to take your t-charts up to the front and I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to check to make sure you have the right coordinate pairs before you're allowed to graph. At that point in time, you'll get stamped. If you're stamped, you're ready to go get your sheet of paper, a giant ruler, you're going to have to share these, and the pens from the back. All right, now we're going to graph this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the x and the y axis. Use the lines of the graph paper. Don't make up your own. Make sure they're labeled. That's points. Make sure you have the title on your graph. The title is the equation that you are graphing. OK? All right, all we're going to do now is we're going to, in a single color, we're going to plot the points. So negative 1x, negative 1y. And I'm going to label it, negative 1, negative 1. Same color, 0, negative 3. So x is 0, y is negative 1, 2, 3. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to label it. x is 1, y is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5, let's see, x is 2, 1, 2, y is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And positive 3, negative 9. All right, at this point in time, if you've done it right, you should have a nice straight line. So you're going to take your giant ruler, you're going to draw a line all the way through, and you're going to keep going because these aren't all of the points I could give you. I just gave you some of them. So you're going to make sure you put arrows on the end because there's a lot more points we can have on there. All right, at this point, there's a few more instructions. It says to look at the x-axis. You're going to circle where it crosses the x-axis in a different color. Okay. It also said to look at the y-axis. You're going to find where your line 
crosses the y-axis, and you're going to put a square around it in a different color. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. You're also going to put you and your partner's name on the, on the bottom corner. And you're also going to staple both of your T-charts to it before you turn it in. When I get back, I want to see fabulous work. And remember, you know you love math.